Hey, it's Dan Reese here, your friendly neighborhood ring maker. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make one of these cool rings made with old comic books. Spider Man, Spider Man, does whatever a spider can. This makes a wicked upcycling project, but just remember with great ring making skills comes great responsibility. Definitely need to stop with those Spider Man plants. <laughs> So as you can see, I chose Spider-Man for my ring. Spider-Man, Spider-Man. But I've had tons of suggestions for other heroes and villains. I'd love to make either a Deadpool or a Venom ring, but why don't you leave me a comment and let me know what hero or villain you'd like to see next. So let's sharpen those spidey senses and get ready to make a ring out of old vintage comic books. This project began with a hunt at my local comic book shop. I found a load of great comic books that were usable, but I settled on this one Spider-Man comic that features Venom. Scrolling through the pages, I found a few illustrations that would make awesome looking rings. I particularly liked this image, as it was big, bold, and perfect for the outer portion of the ring. And then on the very next page, I found this cool image of Spidey, which was perfect for the inside of the ring. I set my calipers to 10mm, laid them on the page, and then used an X-Acto knife to mark two lines where I needed to cut. Then I used a ruler and the knife to cut out the piece of artwork that I wanted to use for the outside of the ring. Looking pretty good. I basically repeated the same steps for the inside artwork too. Next I cut three long 10mm wide strips of paper from one of the comic book pages to make up the body of the ring. So there's the inside layer of the ring, the strips that will make the overall bulk and the outside artwork. Time to glue it all together. I wrapped the inside layer around a former. I just used a socket covered in masking tape for this. I dabbed on a small amount of Mod Podge onto the overlapping flap and stuck it down. Simples. Then I just carried on wrapping, gluing and rolling all of the comic book strips together to form my ring. So I've wrapped up my comic book pages uh, and now I'm going to coat the outside and the inside of the ring with a bit of this amazing stuff called Modge Podge. And the reason for this is that on my first experiment I tried gluing the ring with uh, super glue uh, but when the super glue hits the pages it kind of makes them a little bit see-through and you lose quite a bit of the detail or it just doesn't look as good. Like it's made some of the page see-through and especially like on the white details uh, you can see like the page from underneath coming through so that's like ruined Spider-Man's eye. Another thing I decided to do was I just cut out this little Spider-Man face uh, and I've just stuck it like over the seam uh, where the the comic book joined. So I've just stuck it on, go over it with a bit of Mod Podge and then uh, cut off the excess and that uh, gets rid of the ugly seam at the back. Sweet! So here's a little bit of that Mod Podge action. Oh yeah! By applying two to three layers of this stuff, it stops the super glue finish from making the pages translucent and keeps all of the sexy details looking crisp. The mods took about 20 minutes to cure, so in the meantime I tested my sick web shooting skills. Time to finish him. For a finish, I used CA glue, aka super glue. 
I applied the glue carefully one layer at a time and gave it a little zoosh with uh, some activator spray in between coats. You could use lacquer or some kind of resin to, to finish a ring like this, but I know that CA is incredibly durable as it's the finish I use for all of my bendwood rings. CA finishing is my superpower. Alright, so I've basically got a really rough finish on the ring now. I've got a full coating on the inside, the outside and the edges. And the next thing I'll do is polish it up with uh, a bazillion grits of sandpaper. Basically what you want to do on this stage is just sand it up until the highest grit that you possibly can. And just make sure that the, all of the finish is nice and nice. Knife? Knife. <laughs> Make sure the finish is nice and smooth and even. Polishing took a hell of a long time by hand, but I just systematically worked my way through progressively finer grits of sandpaper on every surface of the ring. So uh, that's the end of the project, and I'll be honest, I am massively enjoying this ring. <laughs> processes I use to make this ring could be used for all sorts of materials really. So why stop with comic books? You could use maps, scrapbooking materials or even money. Man I absolutely love it. <laughs> Leave me a comment, let me know which hero villain you would like to see me make a ring with next. I'm not sure if that makes sense. Also, just quickly, uh, I'm trying to make YouTube more of a full-time gig. Please smash that subscribe button, uh, like it, and share this video if you can. So until next time, see you in the next one.